Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at French and we're going to be learning about a new topic which is Les vêtements which means the clothes in French obviously normally you do this with someone else but as a start home learning, I'm going to take over it uh, Now there's a couple of things we should think about before we begin uh, Firstly, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen so uh, the task today is going to be that we're going to write down the words and we're, we're first going to practice them then we're going to write down the words draw the uh, picture that goes with them and then write them in English to help us develop our vocabulary for how we say the name of clothes in French and a few notes on pronunciation in French uh, in this case when we got an s on the end in French it uh, isn't pronounced like les like you might think in English if you listen to it again les vêtements so the s for both the les and the vêtements is uh, basically silent it's basically gone another thing is the ment is not meant uh, like English so it's not not les vêtements uh, but instead uh, les and then vêtements uh, so the uh, M-E-N-T is more like a mon sound and the kind of hat, the accent here on the E uh, makes the E sound a little bit different from the other ones Les vêtements So you say vêtements uh, Hopefully that's clear, so let's get through it The first one here is Une chemise uh, Just to be clear about this, I'll play it here then you try and say it at home so I'll demonstrate Une chemise Une chemise, you try it I'm not going to say all of these because uh, the pronunciation on the PowerPoint is far better than my French pronunciation. Une écharpe. Une jupe. Une robe. Une veste. Une cravate. Une casquette. Un t-shirt. That's quite a strange one, isn't it? That's because it's a loan word from English. It's not a word originally from French. Un manteau. Un maillot de bain. That's another difficult one, isn't it? Let's listen to that one again. Un maillot de bain. And now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say these, but now I'd like you to write them down as we go, following the spelling. So, une chemise. Une chemise, write that down. Une écharpe. Une jupe. Une robe. Une veste. Une cravate. Une casquette. Un t-shirt. Un manteau. That's another strange one, isn't it? Once again, the A-N isn't the sound we might look at this and say, this is mantio, but here the E-A-U is an O sound and the A-N is an O, so you get... Un manteau. Un manteau. Un maillot de bain. Another interesting pronunciation thing to look out for here is that the double L makes a kind of Y sound, a little bit like it does in Spanish, actually. Listen to that again, you'll see it's not, not un milo de bain. Un maillot de bain. But mayo, kind of like mayonnaise. Okay, you should have been pausing the video now and have written down the names for each of these. So you can have a look if you've got the drawing, you've got the uh, name, you should be able to try some of these. Give these a go. What's the first one? Une casquette. Casquette. Excuse me. The second one? Une chemise. Une chemise. The third one. Une robe. Une robe. The fourth one. This one, remember, is a funny one. Un t-shirt. Un t-shirt. The fifth one. Une jupe. Jupe. Une cravate. Une cravate. Interestingly, in English, a cravate is a particular type of tie, but in French, a cravate is any tie. Uh, number eight. Une veste. Interesting, isn't it? The vest sounds like vest, but it's more like a, a coat here, whereas an actual vest or a tank top. Un maillot de bain. Uh, sorry, not saying that this is a um, swimsuit, isn't it? Uh, and the fourth one, remember the strange spelling of this one? Un manteau. Remember the pronunciation, definitely practice that one. Uh, because of French words, they can look different if you pronounce them in an English way. It's worth knowing the kind of like French things to look out for. And finally, a very classic French pattern, this. Une écharpe. Okay, moving on. Now, 
before we wrap this up, uh, this is something that's going to come up a lot because we're doing French verbs. Sorry, French, not French verbs, French nouns. Remember, nouns are places, people or things. In French, and in fact in many languages, certainly all Latin languages, uh, the nouns can either be masculine or feminine. Uh, that means like a male or female. Uh, we refer to this as the gender of the noun, but it doesn't really have anything to do with what a noun looks like. And even in different languages, sometimes they'll have different genders for words. But what it does is it changes the way you say a thing. You say un or you say une. Un is the masculine and une is the feminine. Uh, you can also say this if you do the definite article. That means if it's the, in French you can have le for a masculine one, la for a feminine one, or le, l-e-s like we saw at the beginning, for more than one thing that is um, that exists. So they have different words for the, whereas we would simply use the all the time, you know, the coat, the table, the chairs. Here's an example. We have un, un moto. Monto. Remember the uh, strange pr uh, pronunciation of this one. This is a singular masculine noun. It's masculine because it's got un and there's only one of it. If instead we have une, une jupe. jupe, this is a feminine noun. So this is a item that is considered to be feminine. In this case, it's not too bad because dress you might naturally think of feminine, but there are lots of things that you might think of as masculine or feminine or just not have an opinion about that have a gender in French. If you use the wrong word, you might be understood, but it um, will make your French inaccurate and sometimes it will just sound very strange. Let's see if you can match these up to the right ones. If you, so far, uh, have been doing the work, then what you should have is a list now of the words in French and the drawings. You may want to write next to it in English what uh, the things are. And now the final thing is just before the word to add whether it's un or une. See if we can figure out which one it is and let's have a look. So un maillot de bain. Un maillot de bain. Un maillot de bain. That's masculine. Strange, isn't it? Whereas Remember this one, jupe, we talked about just now? Une jupe. Une jupe. Cravat, male or female? Cravat is female. Une cravate. Cravat. How about a chemise? Une chemise. Une chemise, that makes it uh, feminine. This one, remember this one? We just did it. Un moto. Un moto, that makes it masculine. Oh, how about the cap? Une casquette. Une, une casquette. Une casquette. That's une, that's another feminine one. T-shirt, that's a masculine one. A t-shirt. T-shirt. How about this? Hmm. Une écharpe. Une écharpe. Une feminine. And this one, veste. Une veste. Une veste. And finally, une robe. Une robe. So more feminines than masculines today. We're going to look at some more next week. Here are all of them. If you haven't got them, write them down now. Make sure you got the right a, ah, the right un or un for each one. And then you should be done. Make sure you email me your work. I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on.